That is horrible. Well, don't like, don't bring that up. We will not mention speed. microtransactions in Need for Speed ever again. Nope, not happening. Give me one game without microtransactions, I'll be okay. Well, I'll, I'll be happy. No, what they should do? Uh, Black Panther was talking about this. He said, uh... Your server's still down? Uh, I tried, did you try rebooting the console and stuff and all that shit? Did you try rebooting the internet? I would say it's the, like, just reboot the console, honestly. Close out the app, reboot the whole thing. If that doesn't work, uh, then try a PSN test. See if the servers for PlayStation are up. If those are still up, then there's nothing I can do until Need for Speed decides to fix their shit. I mean, which, you have to wait for that. And I don't even know if they're or gonna... If we get kicked off. Yeah, we get kicked off, then you know it's not just us, like you or whatever, it's us too, so. Rebooted everything. Then yeah, I can't, I can't do anything, man, you gotta have to wait. Till they fix it, I guess. And last time I checked their Twitter, it still said it was down, so. For some people. So they're looking into it, they'll fix it. Just gotta give them time. Patience, young Skywalker. I was just talking to Star Wars recently. It's awful. It is so bad. I'm sorry. Did I did I ruin that for everybody? I didn't mean to. I won't say anything. But no, yeah, it's not it's not worth fifty bucks at all. Stop offending people. You gotta admit though. No, you watch it. You watch it. You will fucking hate that shit. Fuck you. He no like Chewbacca? What is wrong with him? No, I don't like walking carpets, remember? Aw, oh, she. I think Chewbacca was good in that movie. I was actually kind of sad when he got shit. Uh, I'm not gonna say anything. Never mind. Dude, I'm not kidding though. Yeah, you, you have to watch this review I watched last night. It basically describes the whole movie. Spoilers and everything. Let me just put it this way. The prequels, the prequels right now have surpassed the new movie. Oh, yeah. No, I'm saying the prequels for the new Star Wars. Or sorry, sorry, the the prequels of Star Wars have beat The Force Awakens in terms of decency at this point. What one? Wow. Interesting. I like the third one the best. What? Third Star Wars. No, you're you must be a new Star Wars fan because the no way yeah. That movie is awful. That movie had no plot or anything We didn't even have storytelling and it had a bunch of base camps It felt like I was watching an outpost movie with like like Dune or something from the 90s the bunch of camps and scavengers and ugh, Remnants of both sides. It just ugh, it didn't fit the first one I Felt like I was watching a zombie apocalypse movie with Star Wars over it. That's how like bad it was. Darth Maul, Darth Maul was yeah, awesome. Darth... But you gotta admit though. You gotta admit, you gotta admit though. After seeing The Force Awakens, you watch you just said you watched the first one. I will say this, okay? You had Naboo. Just watch it. Right. Like it. Right, but you had the planet of Naboo in the first one. You had Darth Maul, dual wielding saber guy. You had, yes, people will say Jar Jar Binks was awful, whatever, okay. If you can overlook Jar Jar Binks, though, you had a droid army. You had those cool-looking droid deployable vehicles in the battle. You had a battle. I mean, the, the Force Awakens doesn't even have that. It has, like, two lightsaber scenes that are I, unbearable. They're really unbearable. Oh, yeah, I heard that. And the guy who's supposedly supposed to play, replaced by Ray Parker, was supposed to be the main villain. But no! On the best fucking villain 
I didn't feel bad for Chewbacca. That one don't don't spoil it. You're not allowed to spoil it. You can't spoil it. Okay, say anyone hasn't I'm seen it. I'm not saying sh you should go out and see it though. Don't go see it. You can't do it. Wait till it's like on Put Locker or Vod Locker and go watch that shit. Yeah, it, it's not worth it. It's not worth seeing though. I spent twenty seven dollars for two tickets. Did you really? Yeah. Wait, you sold the tickets? No, uh, we paid for twenty seven. Ah. Uh, twenty seven dollars. Yeah, I'd rather go to like Outback and buy dinner than see that awful movie again. Like I tried watching it again yesterday. Uh, The Force Awakens or whatever. I no, I didn't go to the theater. Are you kidding me? No, God no. Why would I? They overcharge you like crazy there. No. So I went to go watch it again yesterday though, and I fell asleep trying to watch that shit. I couldn't do it. Where'd you go to watch it? I just went on Google and looked it up. If you know where to look, you can find The Force Awakens and not spend money on it. And trust me, you'll feel a lot better that you didn't. I'm saving you money well, here. I just, I just think 20, like $27 is okay. No, I'd rather buy a new game or some microtransaction from a greedy corporation than watch that movie. That movie was a sham. J.J. Abrams just ruined... They basically did... I mean, you can't really say that you didn't see it coming, though. Because I kind of knew Disney would fuck it up the moment they had rights to it. So I kind of already yeah. knew The Force Awakens was going to suck ass. But then J.J. Abrams got involved. And if you think about it, he was the same director for Star Trek, the uh, Darkness movie or whatever. After the original Star Trek movie that came out in, what was it, 2009 or some shit? The good one with... Uh, that actually had a story, J.J. Abrams took over yeah. and, and made Into Darkness, and a lot of people didn't like Into Darkness. I thought it was okay because it kind of described, like, Khan and how he's yeah. a part of the universe, but I can see why they didn't like it. I felt like the office scene was just unneeded. Oh. I felt like the general guy that turns evil was unneeded. I just, uh, didn't really feel like, uh, like the original one that they made prior to it. Like, it, it wasn't as good as that one. Like, I'll still watch the original oh, one, yeah. where Kirk gets beat up in the bar. I'll watch that one. I like that one more. I think that one's cooler, well, but that's just me. That and I'm not a Star Trek fan Star either, ever, so. Ever seen. But I think that one was better. Yeah, that was the first Star Trek I've ever seen. But yeah, like, I don't know. I didn't really, like... I like Star Wars. I wouldn't say I, I'm a huge fan of Star Wars, but I can safely admit that the new movie, compared to the prequels, like, you gotta realize, you'll overlook Jar Jar in the in the prequels, and you can overlook even Anakin and fucking Natalie Portman's yeah. awful, you know, Queen Amidala's awful dialogue, and, like, overall, oh. like, love story affair and all that crap. If you can overlook that mm -hmm. stuff, there was good parts to the prequels. They had planets that you actually got used to and got the feel of, the Force Awakens has really yeah. only one planet that you're going to get used to, and it looks like Tatooine. Yeah. It's, it's Jakku. You could it's go nice. play Battlefront right now on your PS4 and experience Jakku yeah. for free. You don't even need to watch the fucking movie. You go play Jakku. Like, I don't... Yeah, I'm not... Well, yeah. I don't know. It's not worth it. Well, yeah, well I'm like about Battlefront. If they don't have that campaign, like Battlefront 1 and 2. I really want a campaign. I'm sorry, I do. Yeah. I don't, I don't really like the multi- Like, the multiplayer just doesn't have enough progression, though. You hit 50 I and- I like about multiplayer. Oh, yeah, you can go, like, 40 and 0 in that game without even blinking an eyeball. Like, it's so easy. Yeah, it's like, not even, like, And there's- Once it. you hit 50, you upgrade all your star cards. That's all you do, and buy skins. I can show you right now. I have everything. I can show you, too. Well, you said you're, like, level 5. I go on my dad's account, that's all he plays. Oh, that's all he plays? Oh god. Yeah. Please, don't tell me that. She not even what he is. She'd freaking have him just play, play Need for Speed. He'll be much happier. He doesn't like racing games. He plays for sure. Wait, what guy doesn't like a racing game? Does he not like cars or something? What's wrong? He's a cook. He's a what? He's a chef, so he doesn't really care. 
Oh my god. Wait, that's next to you. Say it now. Oh, bless me. Sorry, guys. Getting allergies. It's beginning to feel a lot like fuck this. <laughs> I love that meme. That meme is funny as shit. It's got like this grumpy ass cat on it. Alright, what we got? Meet the gang at the diner. What if I don't want to? No, I'm just kidding. I won't go meet him at the diner. Actually, you know what? Let's go to the garage. Let's fix up the car. Let's make it pretty because I wrecked it a little bit. Go to the diner. We'll order some pancakes. I went to the original pancake house yesterday. Oh, no. Please tell me you didn't. I did. I have never eaten at IHOP. And I, I don't I think have. I will. I don't think I will eat at IHOP because I've heard. Like, no, it wasn't I had. It was actually called the original pancake house. The original pancake house? Damn. Yeah. Where's that at? It was really good. Is that? Are you looking up? I don't, I'm not totally certain. Uh, go to Need for Speed, Mikey. Need for Speed on Twitter, the official. You can check the official because it will have a blue check mark on Twitter, and you can tweet yeah. them and tell them you're having okay. a problem. I got bacon pancakes. And they're probably just going to give you the same response they're giving everybody else. Our technicians are looking into it, kind of like with Destiny and all that crap. We'll fix it when we get the chance to, or whatever. All you can have to do is wait. I have bacon pancakes. Bacon inside of pancakes. I've never had a bacon pancake. That sounds kind of gross. No, it's actually really good. Hmm. If only. I have actually stole the original antique house from this uh, breakfast restaurant. It's really, they make really good pancakes. Hang on, I'm looking at their stream. 57 minutes ago. A lot of people are not able to connect to the servers. Still not able to connect to servers. Looking at six new tweets right now. Over 19. A lot of people unable to connect. This was 28 minutes ago, so I mean, they're still updating it. 17 minutes ago was the latest tweet. So, everyone seems to be having problems connecting today. Guys, gotta realize, last day before, you know, Christmas time and family time, so a lot of people are probably, like I said, logging in and trying to play the game. I think it's the first time I've seen Spike not completely twitchy. Oh no. Looks like they're driving your dad's car. Then, boom. They smoke you in the lights and disappear into the night. 